This video will provide an introduction to the new release of the Johnson County online mapping application. I will run through the basic layout, functionality, and then provide information on performing a simple property search. Subsequent videos will provide details on the various layers available, how to use the tools, and the advanced features available within the application. The first thing you'll likely notice when you get into the new online mapping application is that it has been built upon the Google Maps interface. So if you're familiar with Google Maps or have used it, you should have no problem navigating and using this application as well. Along those same lines, you'll now notice that you have the ability to actually zoom in and out on your map using the scroll wheel on your mouse. We've added zoom functionality here on the left using a slider bar. And there's also a zoom in tool up here in the upper left is your very first map tool, which if you click that, allows you to click and drag, drag a box on your map to zoom you in very quickly to a specific location. So I wanted to make you aware of those new navigational tools there. As far as the interface goes, it's pretty simply set up. You've got all of your layers, as well as some other display and navigational tools over here on the left-hand side. Your layers are all categorized by type. We've got parcels, planimetrics, school layers, administrative layers, other utility layers if you have access to those, a transparency slider for those layers that are visible, a checkbox for our aerial imagery, and then a transparency slider for that as well. All of this information as far as the layers and the other display and navigational tools will be covered in detail in another video. Your basic navigational map tools are up here across the top right above your map. As I mentioned previously, you've got the zoom in box, zoom in tool, an identify tool, measure, draw polygon, buffer, clear, and the little camera allows you to view, view Google Street View. All of these tools, as well as these advanced ones over here on the right-hand side, will be covered in another video. These two little arrows are your forward and back buttons. Because this application does not uh, perform with the back arrow of your browser, anytime you want to view previous extents on the map, you'll want to use these forward and back buttons here. The sign-in link in the very far right-hand corner is for our My Aims users, so if you do have a My Aims username and password, that is where you would actually sign into the application to gain access to some of that additional functionality that you're used to. A typical use of this application um, would be to do a property search if you have an address or a property ID and you want to actually zoom in on that property, see it, get some information back about it. So I'm going to show you how to use this search for location box here at the top to do a quick property search or an address search, whatever you've got. So in this case, you can use the little blue question mark here at the top, and it's going to actually tell you what types of searches you can enter in here. So this box will actually take an address, a property ID, a city name, township range section, section township range, an Ames map number and quarter section, zip code, or even a very simple intersection search. And we do provide some examples here as far as what types of information to enter based on what parameter you're searching for. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do an address search, and you'll notice that as I begin typing, I start to get a drop-down box of potential matches. We've added a type ahead functionality to this application to allow you to more quickly and easily find the property that you're looking for without having to enter the complete address. So we match it based on all of the potential matches within the county that would fit with what you've entered. So in this case, I'll select a property, hit search map, and my map automatically zooms to that property and shows me that on the map. You'll also notice that the identify results window has popped up. If you're familiar with our previous online mapping application, this should be very familiar to you. It houses a plethora of information about that specific property and it's all categorized by a series of tabs across the top. So we'll go through these real quick. Your properties tab would include information such as your property ID, your situs address, you've got links here to your appraisal and your tax bill. It also includes information such as zoning and land use. The location tab is going to be information specific about the location of this property, the city it's in, the zip code, what districts as far as sheriff, commissioner, fire, and it also gives you some FEMA flood information. The Schools tab is going to show you what schools this particular property would attend. The Platts tab will be what plat that specific property actually resides in if it's a platted property. Legal Description is going to give you an abbreviated legal of that property. The Utilities tab will tell you what utility providers actually service that specific property. 
and then your image tab will provide you with the front elevation images for that specific property. So if you're familiar with our old online mapping system, this should be very familiar. One other way, another way to search the map I'm going to show you is a real quick intersection search just to give you an idea of how that works. In this case, I'll enter an intersection that I want to, that I know maybe there's a specific property there I'm looking for. I hit, you'll notice there it also did a drop down after it found it. So in that case, I can select that, hit search map, and it's going to zoom my map to that specific intersection. Now from here, I can use any one of my zoom tools, zoom in the map to find that closer, to find a closer property. So if I didn't have a specific address but knew approximately where it was located, I could probably locate it here and then go about my property search. So in a nutshell, that would give you the basic functionality and use of this application. I would encourage you to check out the other videos in the help section, which is over here in the lower left hand corner. There will be videos there that will include more information on your tools here at the top, the layers available and how to use those, as well as some of the additional functionality within this application.